so awkward and cute. I love him. He's extendable. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. I have another spooky Honka haul, and I have to say, this is the best Halloween haul ever. Ever, ever, ever. All of these items are spectacular. <laughs> I have never been so excited for a haul ever. Oh my goodness. All the items are absolute perfection. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Go ahead. I'll wait. Let's just head straight into the haul. All right, calm yourself, calm yourself. All right, <laughs> let's start with this guy right here on the floor because I will forget about him. So <laughs> this is what the bottom looks like. And it's a broom. And I was thinking of putting it by the doorway and it says trick or treat. And it's pretty tall. It's like, what, three feet tall, I think? Um, handcrafted in the Philippines. Let's see, this was 19.99. And I don't know, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. You could make this technically, but I mean, I don't have a Cricut or anything. Um, and I just really, really liked the writing of this. That was really cool. So yeah, a little, little decor for my doorway. So that is the first item. Trust me, it just, it just gets better. All right, I'm going to build up. Let's go with this guy here. So I saw him as I was in the waiting line. It's how they get you always. At least how they get me all the time when I'm waiting there, waiting for the cash register. I saw this and it says boo to you, which is like a Disney thing also, because I've seen that a lot. Um, this was $4.99, which is very nice compared to a lot of the Ray Dunn mugs that I've seen were like super expensive this year. Um, the inside is purple and you have this little ghost guy. I'm telling you this year is like all about the ghosts. I found a lot of cute ghost stuff this year and it's on both sides. So if you want to use them for a tiered tray, It'd be nice. I got a little cauldron and it says boo. I thought this was so cute. You can actually open the top. And this was $12.99, Ray Dunn. I'm not, uh, I mentioned before that I'm not like a huge Ray Dunn person or anything, but I thought this was so cute, a little cauldron. And thought it'd be really nice for like a tiered tray, perhaps. And then I uh, was browsing a little bit more on the many home goods runs that I have done this year. And I saw this one's mama. Like the big one, the big kahuna. So let me show you, look at it. Oh my gosh, it says trick or treat and it's a huge cauldron. I'm totally gonna be using this for St. Patrick's Day as like a pot of gold, you know? Because thankfully it doesn't have anything written on the other side. Wouldn't that be perfect, you know? So yeah, it's huge by the way, humongous. This was $29.99. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get one and I never saw them in any of my home goods. And I was like, okay, if I do see one, then it'll be a sign to get it. And there was this one and one other one. Both of them said trick or treat. So I was like, all right, well, let me go ahead and get one. Those look like the mama and the baby. Adorable. All right, I'm gonna share this guy next. Uh, he was so cute. And I don't know why, but he reminded me of my husband, okay? Everything reminds me of my husband. This is... <laughs> the, I don't know, I, I haven't named him yet, but his dance moves, this is exactly how my husband dances, like he's so awkward at dancing, it's, it's hilarious. Uh, one of the many reasons I love him, <laughs> but uh, he's so cute, he's a little mummy. And um, let's see, $12.99, there were two of them and I was like, should I grab both? But I always try to leave one for someone else because I remember this like being people going crazy over this. I think it was like last year or something. And yeah, I saw him on actually, like as soon as I entered, as soon as I entered the home goods, like my, I met his and I was like, you're coming home with me. Like, oh, so I thought he was so cute. This is what the back looks like. And he's like on this little wooden thing. He has a little wrapping coming off. And look at his feet. They're like turned inwards. He's so awkward and cute. I love him. And my husband was like, he is pretty cute. Like, and he never ever comments on stuff like that. He never thinks any like Halloween stuff is cute or anything like that. But he said this was cute. And I was like, yep, this is a winner. This right here. <sighs> so I love him. Even his eyes are like different shapes, like different sizes, you know, 
not different shapes, different sizes. Like one is smaller than the other. I don't know. He's just, I love him. And then, um, on a uh, one of my many um, trips to Home Goods, I've mentioned in my previous hauls, I have been on the hunt for this Mickey Mouse pumpkin cookie jar for I don't even know how many years now. Like since it came out, <laughs> since it was a thing, I have been on the hunt for it, and um, I have been unlucky every single year. <sighs> so this was one of the many home goods runs that I did. I have been looking every weekend for this cookie jar. Um, and this was one of the stops and I didn't find it this day, but I found this instead. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. I saw him, um, on the shelf and all I could see were his feet. And I was like, those feet look very familiar. And then I looked down and it's vampire Mickey holding up the tray. I mean, how adorable. This was $24.99. Did I tell you the price of him? He was $12.99. I don't know if I mentioned the price, but... Um, anyways, he was $24.99. My husband actually bought this for me because he was like, I know you'll regret it if you don't get it. Because I was contemplating, I was actually contemplating on whether I should get him or not. Because um, I try to stay away from as many breakable things as possible. And... Um, he is kind of like squashed under there. He kind of looks like he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> but I think that adds to his cuteness a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I was like determined to only, like the next thing I buy, only be the Mickey pumpkin cookie jar. And so I was like, should I get him? Should I not? And so my husband actually got it for me. So, <sighs> oh my gosh. He's so cute. Look at his little cloak. Oh my gosh. Adorable. This next guy is pure perfection um and such a wonderful surprise uh this was again on one of my many trips to home goods i told you i like i literally went every single weekend every single weekend to find the mickey pumpkin cookie jar and um on this trip again i didn't find the mickey pumpkin cookie jar but i found him instead and i'm so glad i did <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> okay, okay. I know you've seen a lot of these, okay? Like these little ghosts with, you know, I don't know what material this is. Linen? I have no idea. But uh, he was $19.99. I guess the brand is Hey Boo. I don't know. He has a little hat and a little banner. Uh, he was on the bottom shelf and I went to pick him up by his arm. And when I did, his legs <laughs> extended. And I was like, what? And he literally, oh, oh gosh, you have to like click him into place. There it is. And he is, he's so tall now. Look, he's, uh, I think like, I think this is three foot also. Like he extends up to three foot and you can um, adjust him like in between as well. So it just has to like click in play, into place. I wish there was like a better way of doing it, you know, but still so cool. I was like, what? When I went to show my husband, I was like, we're getting him. I don't ask. Because normally when I get um, things from Home Goods and stuff, I ask for his opinion. So I'm like, oh, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? You know, and he's like, okay, yeah, that's good. And I was like, okay, I know I asked for your opinion for everything, but this I don't need an opinion on. He's just like, what is so special about him? And I showed him the legs and he was like, are you kidding me? And I was like, yep, he's extendable. <laughs> and I just thought that was the coolest thing. I've seen this. Um, with like the gnomes, but I haven't seen this guy and uh, I, I haven't seen him since like I haven't seen any other ones I thought it would be cool to get like maybe one more. I don't know, but How cool is he you can extend him and then if you want him short you just like push him down He can be this height Which is still pretty tall Or you can push him down all the way And he's short again so I like that, you know, a little bit of variety. You can put them on a shelf. You can put them on the floor by the door. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like this, this was like perfection. I literally said, I don't need your opinion on him, please. I'm getting him for sure. Oh, not much else to say about him other than he's amazing. Oh, and when the girl was trying to pack him up and put him in the bag, like the cashier, she picked him up like this and the legs extended. She was just like, oh my gosh. And... I mean, we cracked up laughing, but we all did, including the cashier. She thought, she thought it was funny too, but she was like, that is 
that is interesting. And I was like, yep, it's the best. Now for the finale. So like I said, every weekend, I go to Home Goods in search of the Mickey pumpkin cookie jar. Last year, I was only able to get this guy. This is a little tea light holder. There's a little, I got three of them. Teeny tiny. And then in my previous Halloween haul, I ended up finding this guy, which is a little bit, a little bit bigger, but he's also a tea light holder. So I have two of these now and three of these. My husband actually found the Mickey pumpkin cookie jar, you guys. I, oh my gosh, I almost cried. I almost cried when I saw him coming down the aisle with him. Like he was like holding him like a football and he was just like being all macho with it. I don't even know why, but he, I was just like, is that what I think it is? And he was like, oh yeah. And he was like, I was looking for you. Cause I, we had, I was like split up <laughs> so we could search literally. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm crazy. Oh my gosh. But yeah. And, um, he was like, yeah, there's so many. And I was like, what? He was like, there's a lot in this home goods. I've literally never seen one in person until this home goods. And they happen to have like five or six of these cookie jars. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I feel like only some home goods, you know, get these as a shipment, but I don't know. Um, this one was $29.99. And he's perfect. <laughs> he's the cookie jar. That's the top. That's what he looks like inside. And he is perfect. And I loved him so much. Okay. And I looked for him for over three years now, I think. And so I got two. <laughs> uh, and I only got two because there were a lot left. So I was like, I didn't feel too guilty, you know? Oh my gosh. I love it. Where am I going to display these? I have no idea, but. <sighs> I I feel complete. It was such a good day. Oh gosh, it was such a good day. Maybe I'll put it on this. I don't know. Him holding up his own Mickey head. I don't know. Is that too weird? <laughs> um, I have no idea. But I I was so happy. It was such a good day. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even. I kind of had started losing hope, honestly. Like, but it was meant to be. I love him. I wish that was the end of my um home goods search though but uh like i mentioned in my previous haul i have been looking for a halloween um wreath so i'm asking you guys for help if you find a wreath um that has the colors black orange purple and like a light tinkerbell green then please let me know um i did find a few there was one in like home goods was like breaking apart and um, there were a few, but the price was ridiculous. So uh, I've got to find one. And there's also two other items that I'm looking for. <laughs> there's always another item that I'm looking for, I swear. Oh my gosh. So, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> if I do find those items, um, I may make another video or I will, um, post it on my Instagram or TikTok or something. So make sure you're following me on those platforms. Other than that, this was, um, to me, in my opinion the best Halloween finds ever um, especially for someone who has been going crazy trying to find this guy alrighty you guys so that is it for this little but epic home goods haul I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye